Hey, what's up? So it's been a long time since I did another video, but here's one. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Ramtoms RM238 microwave. We've been using it for the last two years, so stay with me to the end. Oh, the Ramtoms RM238 microwave. What does it look like? Well, if you ask me, it is one of the best looking microwaves out there. It is made of metal on the outside. And then it's gray. That is in terms of design. And in the inside, it's all white. It has this display that you can see here. And on the side, there are the buttons, the configurations that you want, which I'm going to show you one by one. So when the microwave is off and you put it on, that is the sound it will make to tell you that it is already on. And you can also see here, it has this timer. So that is like a very small display. It's there to show you that it is on. And also, when you want to select the timer, it will show you the countdown until the end of the cooking. And then here, we have our configurations. So we have the clock, the time, express, memory, reset, power level. We have console, start, and the dial-up, weight defrost, the jet defrost. And in the weight defrost, you can actually see there is meat, poultry, seafood as D1, D2, and uh, D3 respectively. So what do these configurations mean? We have the time. So if you want to cook something or warm up something with the microwave, most of the time you're going to press this. So you press here, time. And then you can see it says here zero. So this is in seconds. So that is what the time does. Then you can cancel to go back to the normal mode. And then we have express so when you press express the timer increases by 15 seconds let me just show you what it does so when you press express it sets to 15 seconds then if you press again 30 one minute then two minutes and then if you press start it will start warming up according to that and then we have the clock this is for setting up the time and then we also have the memory the memory recalls the initial the initial time that you had set for it to warm up something and then the power level either to increase the power level or to reduce it because this microwave is a 10 power uh, microwave which means it can warm up something up to almost 10 times to the room temperature so if you use power level you can decrease or maybe increase the power level uh, to the desired one that you want. And then you have the weight defrost. So what the weight defrost does, I'm going to give you an example with these ice cubes. So you're going to put them in the microwave and use weight defrost. So when you press weight defrost, you can see it says D1. D1 means meat. It's meat. Then D2 is poultry. D3 is seafood. So you get to warm up something that has been frozen according to whether it's meat, poultry, or seafood. And also, let's say you've selected seafood. It's like uh, 50 grams. So you press 50. So you can see there's a there's a G here, this is for the grams. And then now you can, you can press start. And then it will start and you can see the countdown. Because it's 50 grams, it has actually set the warm up uh, time to one minute. So after one minute, it will be defrosted. Now, there's one flaw with this, that is that if you're going to use the weight defrost or even the jet defrost in this case, the power level will reduce to about 30%. And this is because it doesn't want to warm up the food in a very hot way because it can cook up. So when you hear those two beeps, it means the food is almost ready. So it stops at 23 seconds. I don't know why it does that, but it does not go all the way. So you can come up and check if it is defrosted. If you are okay with it, at this point, you can go on and eat your food. You are going to assume those ice cubes are your food for today. But if you are not satisfied with the way it has defrosted,
can just press start to continue from where it left off. It was all about weight defrost. Now for jet defrost, you press jet and then you just set the time directly. Let's say one minute. And it will just warm up the food like that. So that's all you need to know about the jet defrost and the weight defrost. Now still using my ice cubes as the example, you can use express. So in the express when you press one time, it will set to 15 seconds. But now it will be at full power level, that is 10 power levels that it has. And so 15 seconds are going to count down and it's going to warm up the food. If maybe you think 15 seconds are not enough, you can press again. It will set the timer to 30 seconds. If it's not enough, you can also do it again to one minute. And then if maybe you are not satisfied with that, two minutes will do. So most of the time I use the express function because two minutes is actually enough for me to warm up my food up to the, the amount of warmth that I want it to be. In fact, it comes out very hot at times. But if you want some level of accuracy, you can come here and press time. And maybe let's say you don't want it to warm up for two minutes exactly. You want maybe one minute and 45 seconds. So you'll press one and you'll see it will start from this side going all the way here. So you'll press one and then four, five. And you can see one minute, 45 seconds. And then you can press start and it will warm up the food. And to cancel, just press here. It will stop at this point and then you'll press cancel again to go back to the normal mode. Then now you can take out your food and eat it. So that's all you need to know about the RAM TOMS RM238. One more thing is uh, the inside of this microwave is approximately 20 liters. So which makes it a very huge uh, amount of uh, space that it gives you. 20 liters is actually a lot. It can fit in some of the very big plates. I'm going to give you an example. So this is an example of a very huge plate. So you can imagine you've put your food here and uh, you're going to warm it up. So as you can see, 20 liters is quite enough for this amount of size because it gives enough room here so that it can rotate around and uh, you won't have any trouble with it. So you can see it does not have any troubles at all. So 20 liters is actually enough, but if 20 liters is not enough for you, you can always go ahead and buy one that has more space. Now I'm going to give you a few pro tips for using a microwave. Okay, first of all, anything that is metal is not allowed in a microwave metallic even dishes like this one you see it's plastic on the outside but it has a a metal on the inside so this one is not allowed and then if you're going to use plastic the shape also matters round objects like this one they are really good when warming up food because the heat is transferred evenly but if you are going to use shapes like this one it's going to be a little bit difficult you might find that one side is warmed up the other side is not or even the corners where the food might be in the corners they are not warmed up and then another thing eggs are a no-go zone for the microwave especially if in this form whether raw or boiled they are not allowed in the microwave because they explode unless you have cooked them not boil them, cook them. So that's all you need to know. The thing you need to keep in mind is that uh, never use the microwave when it's open because the radiation will come out. So even when it's like that, you'll actually know that the microwave door is open because you can see the light inside. But when it's closed, the light turns off. It's kind of like the fridge 
it works the same way it has a switch when you open the door the light goes on and you close it the light goes off and this door you have to grab it with a lot of force of which that is really nice because you don't want a door in a machine like this that can produce radiation which can harm you you don't want a door that is really easy to open so you want one that is a little bit hard to pull like this another tip is when you are warming up liquids like let's say you want to warm up this glass of water it is important that you make sure the liquid is not above three quarter of the glass or any other material that you're going to use this is because when you're warming up the liquid inside the microwave the liquid tends to boil and sometimes when it's boiling it spills over the container or maybe the glass and you'll end up with a lot of a lot of dirt inside the microwave and cleaning will be even harder the other thing you need to keep in mind you see the top of this microwave it has these grills so it's important to make sure that nothing is above here just make sure the microwave is as clean as that don't put anything on top of this microwave because let's say you put something like like this that has a liquid inside the liquid might seep in through these holes here that are grilled so make sure nothing is on top of this surface and do not remove this cover for any reason any reason at all so that's all you need to know about the Ramtoms RM238 microwave. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't. My name is Caleb. This is Caleb Tech. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. And as always, stay safe.